What is up guys? Welcome back to Bus Life Adventure. This week we have an awesome tour from Fiorella and Zach of Amor Aventura and their bus Luna. It's a shuttle bus and it's actually one of my favorites because they did such an amazing job of using reclaimed materials and recycling and including sustainable aspects in their build. And they also have a very open feeling design without sacrificing on space. They have a ton of storage in there still. Uh, it's pretty amazing, so check it out, guys. What is happening, guys? I'm Fiorella. I'm Zach. And this is our tiny, eco-friendly home on wheels. It is a 2003 Ford E450 that we bought in 2018. It took us two years to convert it. We've been living in it full time for five months now, and her name is Luna. We can't wait to show you around, so let's get inside. So starting up front with the cab area, nothing too fancy about it. We kind of just painted it, made it a little bit prettier. Up here, we're housing some skateboards and things, but back here, we have our solar kit. So up front we have our charge controller and behind this wall we have our two batteries, our inverter, and it's connected to our four 100 watt panels on the roof. So this wall we actually made out of a completely recycled pallet that we had found. We took it apart and reused all the wood to make the wall. And these boxes that we made are also out of reused materials. Moving along we have some pantry space, the doors we got at Habitat for Humanity, and we keep things like our blender, some lids for our Tupperwares, and up here we keep the bigger items of food such as the bulk oats, the bulk peanut butter, and other things like that. This is our Berkey system. It is the Royal, I believe. It is 3.5 gallons. It is, we absolutely love it. It helps us filter our water, our drinking water, and so it is a must have for bus life. And then moving down to our fridge, we have a 4.5 cubic foot RCA fridge that we have plugged into our solar panels and we have not had a single issue with it. We love the size, we don't want anything too small or too big, so we absolutely love it. Moving on to our dining area, we sit four, we have two benches that are great storage as well. In this front bench, we keep a lot of our shoes and some hiking gear as well and this bench back here is a little bit of everything we hold from some tools and board games to inventory we do run a store on the road on Etsy called Terra Collective it's a vintage and secondhand home decor store where we find treasures from all kinds of places from the open road and send them to your home to promote sustainability. So everything you see in the house is secondhand or vintage. So if you wanna find a piece and support us, you can find our Etsy page here too. But up here is one of my favorite corners of the house. We have some memory jars, some fun books, and just a basket to catch all. And moving on to the kitchen, which is probably one of my favorite corners of the bus. It is pretty big because we love cooking. Um, starting over here, we have a Camp Chef Oven Deluxe. It is a two stove burner with an oven. It runs on propane and it's been absolutely fabulous. We cook a lot, but the two burners work perfectly for us. And we hold our five gallon propane tank down here. And in front of it, we have a box for our recyclable. So that is that corner and moving on we have our sink. This is a vintage laboratory sink, which is my favorite thing we found for the bus. Um, it is very old and very beautiful, very big as well. So it allows us to have flexibility to almost even use it as a second shower if we need to wash our hair or anything crazy like that. Um, we also have a, just a DIY um, faucet that we made with PVC pipe and then spray paint it because we do have a very easy plumbing system. Just three six gallon water tanks down here, two for fresh water, one for gray water, and a marine foot pump for the water system. So moving up here, we kind of have an open shelf concept that we really, really love. We just house some mugs, um, some glass Tupperwares, our plates, and all of our mason jars that we absolutely love. <laughs> we 
Back here is where we keep our bulk dry goods, and in the front is the mason jars that we use for drinking water. And over here we have some CDs and some other things. Down here to our giant cabinet space where we keep some pans and some pots and our other baking goods and other Tupperware. And up here is the bulk of our pantry where we keep most of our food. So we absolutely love the space in there. So our very long butcher block gives us flexibility to be able to cook together, but also do some work. So we use it as a side desk as well. And it also allowed us to have all those cabinets and some drawers. Um, all of our drawers and all of our cabinets were made with recycled or secondhand materials. And our butcher block is actually from the clearance section of Home Depot. It had a dent and it was 75% off. So that's a great way to build sustainably, which was the focus of our whole build. Um, up here, we have a little like spiritual corner where we keep some crystals and some other stuff. Um, on our drawers, so we have three drawers and the first one is our kitchen drawer which houses a little bit of everything <laughs> from knives and scissors to just laundry ropes and tape, all kinds of stuff. And then our second and third drawer are our clothes so we each have our own drawer. We actually do have pretty big closets for living tiny. Um, we have a big closet over here that is also a vintage door and we love it. <laughs> but that is our main hanging closet right over here, um, which has some storage down there as well and a big, big drawer to house all of our sweaters and just bulky items. So this is our homemade barn door that we made out of one by fours and we stain and no, it does not slide while we drive because down here we have two hooks and we bungee it to the wall. So it hasn't moved since we've been on the road. But getting in to the bathroom area, we have our DIY composting toilets on this side and we have some shelves that we made to hold our toothbrushes, our toothpaste and other toiletries. Our beautiful mirror that we thrifted and over here we have our shower it is actually a gravity fed solar shower and the bathroom is actually a little bit under construction right now we have a lot of exciting plans to do new tile and to completely pretty much revamp this entire side of the bathroom so for now we've been enjoying using our outdoor shower bag because it's been beautiful where we are so we've been taking outdoor showers but we have a lot of awesome stuff coming in here. Moving on to the bedroom side of the bus we have a full-size bed which we both feel very comfortable in and we were able to create storage and usable space around the bed so to this side right here we house a little bit of a library so we have all of our books that we took on the road and our very sleepy kitty back here kiki is our adventure cat um, she's very tired from adventures today but on this side we have two big um storage units so they open up and we hold everything from extra blankets to board games because you definitely want to have those accessible and we have another one that houses a lot of different stuff too so this is actually the front part of our garage, which is where we house most of our accessories and storage. So anything from our towels to Kiki's food to bathroom accessories and our laundry. And it goes all the way back and in there, which you can't see right now, we actually have a separate area where we keep Kiki's litter and she has her own private little room with carpet and items that she loves to lay on. So that is back there as well. So moving to the back of the bus, this is our deck that we made. It is a little bit dirty because we've been doing a lot of off-roading lately, so don't mind the dust. But it was a really simple thing to make. We just bolted it directly into the frame of the bus. And in here is the back side of our garage where we keep our 35 gallon water tank, our tent, our heater, Back here we keep all of our tools, anything that we need for being broken down on the road or any fixes that we need to make inside of the bus, our hose, 
um, and pretty much anything that you could possibly imagine is stored right back here. And that is the tour of our tiny home on wheels. We appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or want to learn more about our lifestyle and our build, we are on YouTube and Instagram at Amor Aventura. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Thank you, Fiorella and Zach, for showing us your bus, and thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to support Small Busness by supporting their Etsy page and support this video and this channel by giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.